5 News. We have new information tonight about a deadly weekend shooting in Saginaw that has neighbors concerned about the rise in crime in their community. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Harris. Thanks for joining us tonight. Saginaw police are identifying now the man killed is 20 year old Drayvon Hooker. Neighbors say Hooker was smoking a cigarette outside of his apartment Sunday night when he was shot. NBC 25's Josh Marshall is at the Birch Park Apartments where residents are dealing with a second homicide in less than two months. Josh. Bill Birch Park residents say that the complex is only getting worse following this weekend's homicide and several other arrests. But these residents are hopeful that they're going to find Hooker's killer just as they did his brother Bobby Bailey less than a year ago. He was my baby brother. Um, he's 20. I'm 20, but he was a fun person. But this is our second brother, and it's the harder it gets. After losing two of her brothers in less than a year, Uniqua Jones Johnson is most concerned for what her family still has. He's leaving his son, he's leaving his daddy, he's leaving his sisters. Hooker's family says they're a tight group and hopes for others to do the same to protect what they have left. Control their kids, and yeah, I guess Saginaw won't be as bad as it is. We won't keep having these murderers. Saginaw groups are working to educate their youth and reach out to men like 19-year-old Greg Lee, who shot and killed Hooker's brother last August. Let's try to reach them before they get into a situation where they're in prison and in, and in jail and, or a victim of violence and crime. We're shifting their thinking from being a part of the problem to being a solution to the problem. Police are questioning witnesses regarding Hooker's death. His family hopes to find justice through information for the second time. It's my baby brother, and I, if y'all did see anything or heard anything, can y'all please let the police know because y'all hurting us. Arrests relating to the homicide of Tonquinesha McKinley in May's pre-prom shooting, as well as both men accused of Saginaw's firebombing, were all made here in Birch Park Apartments. Live in Saginaw, Josh Marshall, NBC 25 News.